Well, hello Internet. Here we are with a little bit of a vlog. Few things uh, going on in my world, in my life. Thought I would uh, record them and share them with you guys. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. You ever had one of those weeks where it seems that everywhere you go, everything you touch, everything you try to do, everything you want to do, um, so on and so forth, becomes almost more hassle than it's worth? I have noticed a change in our attitudes of the members of our wonderful society. I don't know if um, people have moved here from other provinces and brought those big city uh, eastern attitudes with them, which uh, according to the uh, statistics is very strongly possible. Or if people have injected with something over the last couple of years that have altered their um, mindset or their chemical balance and now they're all on edge and crazy, for lack of a better term. You go into a grocery store and there's always somebody freaking out at the prices or at the, at the cashier because of the prices or because of the quality of the meat or because of having to buy uh, reusable shopping bags or that the paper bags now don't have handles on them and stuff the cashier cannot control period just as it is if you want to complain go complain to the management or or better yet vote responsible next time not for the the, the pretty boy with the fancy hair because obviously your vote made things worse worse the last time. You go to another store to buy tools and all you, all the tools you want to buy are behind uh, glass cases now instead of just on the shelf like they used to be because of things. And while you're waiting for somebody to finally show up after pressing the big button to uh, summon them, people are complaining that they have to wait. They're crabbing the price of the tools or again there there's nothing that can be done by the staff that you see on the floor. The prices are that way because they cost that much to get the tools to you. The prices are that way because they have to cover all the theft that has been done. The prices are that way because the companies want to still make a profit not just sell tools to charity at, at well below cost. You try to get things done around and everywhere you go it just delays things. Staff are unhappy, customers are unhappy, you try to be happy but your happiness gets zapped away by their negativity. You come back to your peaceful little bubble and things are broken so you call maintenance to get them fixed and maintenance doesn't show up to fix them. But yet they send you a survey to uh, rate uh, how well they did their job. Well, how do you rate a job that is done that hasn't been done? So of course you put virtually zeros across the board because, well, nothing was done. So how do you rate what was done that wasn't done, right? So you call in again and, well, there's no record of it at all. Well. Why did I get the survey? Why did you spam my email then? Like, you didn't even need my email to begin with, so why do you, this is why, why I don't like giving out email addresses because you never get the item that, that they promise you're gonna get by giving it to them. You get paperwork and spam and WestJet coupons and co-op things or uh, Coke things and a bunch of other spam stuff. I've got things that I'm in the process of doing. One of the things is decluttering and selling things. 
well, I live in an apartment on the third floor. I can't just very well be running down letting people in when they come to buy things because I've got other problems going on. You make a couple of quick runs up and down the stairs and for me, um, it aggravates other things, other injuries. Pretty soon I'm having to hang on to the railing to get up and down the stairs. Pretty soon my ankle and knee is given out that I injured in the parking lot here and I'm having trouble even making it back up to my apartment. How long is it going to be before I wreck my ankle and knee and can't even walk my dog or can't even live simply? And I have run into so much issues selling things, people asking 20 questions, people planning on showing up and never do, people uh, sending you a ridiculous offer like a third or or even a quarter of what you're asking for it. Well, you know, your lowball offers mean nothing to me. I, I will uh, I will box it up and take it to second-hand store or uh, like Goodwill or dump it in the trash before I sell it to somebody for like $10 and then they turn around and sell it on the classifieds for like $50. You know, if you're going to make a crazy lowball offer, at least try to make it somewhere in the the region of being decent to what the original price was. And then they get all uh, defensive and angry at you because you're being unreasonable with your prices. Well, um, contrary to what they think in their mind, I have sold a lot, a lot of stuff. So these small onesie twosie items that are left behind... Uh, they don't matter if to me if they sell or not. Yes, there's a few more things I want to sell. A couple of heavy things, a couple of large things, a couple of things that I'm not looking forward to having to move myself. So get these sold and these out of the way, this clutter gone and stuff like that. And um, Dealing with people's nonsense is very frustrating at times. I am... Um, very very much least starting to look toward my next whatever it's going to be 25 30 possibly 40 years i don't know if i'll make it to 85 years old but given the um when my my closest family has passed away those those timelines you know i could be close around there so do I want to stay renting an apartment for 85 years or I guess the next 35 to 40 years? Do I want to buy me a, a piece of dirt somewhere, an almost non-existent town lot where I'm away from 90% of the distractions of the city? You know, there's always going to be an idiot, idiot or two in the town that is not going to like the way you're living but it'll be far less nonsense there than it will be here in a in a town like this. I've been uh, doing some things behind the scenes that I haven't uh, put into the vlog yet. They will come as as time goes on. The weather is still a little bit cool at nights, but we've had some hot days like 25 degrees, 26 degrees. I think there's even a couple days of 30 degrees up here and with the fires and stuff that are going on in BC and northern Alberta, um, northern Saskatchewan as well, it's a little smoky, little hazy, so I, I'm hoping for rain. It'd be nice if we got like three days of really, really, really nasty rain to help uh, uh, wetten things up and maybe help to put those fires out or, or fight the fires anyway. It's been, like I said, a frustrating uh, week or so, week or more. Life's in a little bit of a chaos with everything going on with decluttering and, and a couple of the big things going on. The waiting game with the consultation for my teeth. The uh, waiting game to see if the powers that be are going to approve what needs to be done or if I've just wasted time and money and energy and created more stress going down a road that I was quite fine surviving uh, without the added stress of getting these teeth took care of. 
you start to learn to live with things. You start to learn how to medicate yourself when things act up. You start to learn that no one's going to help you unless you help yourself. And when you reach out for help, all you receive is is chaos, confusion, headaches, people losing your paperwork, people saying they didn't get things, people saying they called you and your phone never rang because you were sitting here literally all day waiting for them to show up and they never did. You know, the, the mind games. I don't know if people are going insane. I don't know if I'm the one going insane. I don't know if there's problems with me. It makes me wonder what's going on. If if they're not the problem, then is, is it me that's the problem? Do I need to, like, remove myself from the equation and make the world a better place? You know, it's kind of those things that go through a person's head. I just want to live a simple, semi-quiet life with no drama. I just want to live my life in my little bubble, go out, get my groceries, pay my bills, come on back, you know, live in my nice, quiet apartment. But it seems that people or people in this complex, people around me, don't follow the basic rules. They're playing under your truck, they're hanging on your truck, their kids are climbing on your truck. You know, their, their dogs are barking constantly because their dogs are untrained. Even though it says right in the, the rules they signed about, about noisy animals. They're smoking on their balconies, smoking in their apartments, smoking other stuff that waft down the hallways and, and interrupt your um, your space even though they signed a, a, a legally binding lease a contract if you would where there was specifically a page that says about those things they they think they're so entitled that uh, the rules don't apply to them and when they are confronted they get all all uh, confrontational and crabby and say you're stepping on their rights or stepping on their 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 way of living or whatever well if you don't want to adhere to the rules that are put in place then maybe you should not be living in a place that has rules that you refuse to follow if you knowingly uh, enter a contract knowingly that you're not going to follow the rules that's essentially committing fraud uh, by engaging into with with intentions of not following the rules thought I would put it out here just share some of the things that are going on some of the stresses in my life some of the things I'm trying to get rid of trying to work through just trying to live my life as uh, simply as I can for the next 30 to 40 years it is what it is and around we go and as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.